Hello, fellow card game enthusiasts. Uh, Necromorrior here, also known as Rex from Rogue Realms. And um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Normally we have a lot of Dragon Ball Super content on the channel, uh, but we are still just a card gaming channel in general. So uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to talk a little bit about Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I've got something a little special, but first, um, I know we haven't had a lot of content on the channel lately. That is uh, mostly because my car has been broke down, uh, unfortunately, and I usually carpool, not carpool, uh, commute to get to work. So having my car out of commission means I'm, I've been disconnected from my computer for a while now. So kind of hard to edit videos when you don't have access to your computer. So... Let's get into this, because we've got a lot to get through. So, this <clears throat> is my Yu-Gi-Oh! cube. Um, for those of you who are familiar with Magic the Gathering, you may have heard of cubes in the past. Um, it's basically a pool of hand-selected cards used for draft. Uh, so I went through and I picked all of these cards all um there's 480 cards here and then 48 extra deck cards uh, and basically i make booster packs out of these and then we do drafts out of the booster packs that come out of this box so i'm going to go through and give you a rundown of what goes in my cube uh, i've spent a lot of time working out how i wanted the balance to be um, the first thing we have, really, is 50 vanilla monsters. Uh, they range from actually good to pretty terrible. Case in point, we have Thousand Eyes Idol. So this is the weakest card in the entire box. Um, it really doesn't do anything. The only reason this is here is because you can use it for a few cards to summon it straight onto the field. And other than that, I mean, you can use it for Xyz summons if you do that. Um, yeah, so Thousand Eyes Idol, Crowned by the World Chalice, Sonic Duck, Jerry Beans Man, uh, Renji, Gatekeeper of the Dark World, Aqua Mador, um, however you pronounce this, Girochin Kuagata? Yeah. Neo, the Magical Swordsman. Battle Ox, of course, classic. Uh, Darkfire Soldier number two. Darkfire Soldier number one. Axe Raider, another classic. Kabazuls. Warrior Digreffer. Beckoned by the World Chalice. Harpy's Brother, because... We're playing old school. We don't need the renamed cards. Great Angus, La Jin, Mystical Le Genie of the Lamp, Gilgarth. I think this card's really cool. Um, Dark Blade, uh, Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, X Head Cannon, more classics, Neo Bug, Opticlops, Gem Knight Garnet. Sabersaurus, Gemini Elf, Vorse Raider, Luster Dragon, Zombino, uh, Phantom Griffin, Megalo Smasher X, Gene Warped Warwolf. This guy is pretty cool. I don't know why they call them Warwolves, but whatever. Other cards are also called Warwolf. It's weird. Alright, <clears throat> I'm not really sure what just happened, but uh, my video cut out in the middle of recording, so we're going to continue. Alexandrite Dragon came after Gene Warped War Wolf. Blah. Words. Um, getting into single tribute monsters, we have Woodborg and Pachi. This card replaced Labyrinth Wall because uh, Labyrinth Wall is just a little bit too beefy in the booty. For this box, uh, it's kind of hard to get over. So this is something 
that still does the same thing. It's still a wall, but it's a little easier to get past. <clears throat> F500 makes a big difference. Uh, Earl of Demise, Curse of Dragon, two classics. Terror King Salmon. I have a funny story about this, but I'll tell it another day. Uh, Giga Gaga Gigo, the second highest attack value for single tribute. Twin Headed Fire Dragon, Luster Dragon number two, and Summon Skull. Now, Summon Skull is the highest attack value you can get for a single tribute in this box. Um, I actually have a ton of these. I I collect common Summon Skull. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, we've got our two tribute monsters. Uh, we have Red Eyes Black Dragon. Elemental Hero Neos, Dark Magician, of course, these are all classics. Neos might come out. Uh, Big Koala, uh, Wing Weaver, Spiral Serpent, Giga Gaga Gigo, and the highest attack value in the box, uh, for main deck monsters anyway, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, had to get the original art for this one. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's 50 vanilla monsters. These likely will not change much, at least not the ratio. Uh, Neos might get swapped out, but for the most part, I like this core of vanilla monsters. It's been working out pretty well so far. Alrighty, moving into effect monsters. The um, way I sort of went about this is I did 10 level 1 monsters, 20 level 2 monsters, 30 level 3 monsters, and then... Is that right? Did I do 30 level 3 monsters? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I did. And then I think there's 40 or 50 level 4 monsters. I don't remember the exact number. So we have Performer Pal Rain Goat, Swift Scarecrow, Cyber Valley, Eater of Millions. This card is insane. Um, I had some people underestimate it who haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in a while. Uh, I, I made this mostly so my friends and I could play because they don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, Amaralise, or however you pronounce that, Karibo, Sphere Karibo. Uh, Sinister Serpent, uh, Armed Ninja, and Magical Scientist, um, which is not nearly as overpowered in this because there isn't really, you can't really OTK the way you could in, uh, or FTK like you used to be able to with Magical Scientist. Yeah, so that takes care of level one, so that's 10 level one monsters. All right, moving on to level two, we have the Calculator. Um, this is a newer one. It's a uh, Mahjong uh, Munia Maidens, Herald of Green Light and Purple Light, the Unhappy Maiden, Hain Hain, of course, and Maynard Bug are both required. Very old school. Uh, Parasite Paranoid, Parasite Parasite, Time Wizard, Baby Sarasaurus. Um, this one's kind of hard to trigger, but there are a few cards um, that you can make this work with. Uh, Blackwing Thane, the Steel Chain, yeah. Uh, Crawler Axon, Muka Muka, Morphing Jar, Baby Raccoon, uh, Pon Pock, uh, Pon Paco, Card Card D. Mystic Swordsman Level 2, Mask of Darkness, and Fluffle Owl, uh, just for some fusion support. So, moving on to Level 3, we have quite a few of these ones. We have Grand Maju de Aiza, Vortex Torna uh, Tor Trooper, Vortex Trooper, Duh. Ceremonial Bell, uh, Mecha Phantom Beast, uh, Steel... Steel Ther Thrill? Stealth Ray? Stealth Ray. Stealth Ray. I can read. 
It's hard to read upside down. Dandelion. Uh, Crane Crane. Jin Prost Prognosticator of Rituals. Card Trooper. Girgiano. Trap Master, another must include. Uh, Spell Striker. Destiny Hero Doom Lord. I actually had someone get some use out of this card the other day. It's pretty cool. Uh, Performer Pal Hip Hippo. Performer Pal Flip Hippo. Uh, Neo Spatian Grand Mole, the most OP card in the box. Sangan. Tour Guide from the Underworld. Curry Bandit. Um, Mecha Phantom Beast Hamstrat. Death Koala. Marauding Captain. Marbiting Captain. Edgent Sabres. Familiar Knight, uh, Jin Releaser of Rituals, Photon Cerberus, Jin Demolisher of Rituals, Twin Headed Behemoth, Oyster Meister, best name. Actually, it's not true, there's a better name later on. Zubaba Knight, so that does it for the three drops, or the level three monsters. Sorry, I'm used to. Dragon Ball Super so much, I'm calling things different things. Alright, we got a whole lot of level 4 monsters here. So we got Batlin Boxer Vale, um, Ganbara Knight, Big Shield Gardener. That's you can't you can't have a cube without Big Shield Gardener, you just can't. Um, all three relevant cyber darks. Tin Goldfish, Resonance Insect, Silent Magician Level 4, Trickstar Narcissus. There isn't really, this is the only Trickstar card in here. And the main reason it's in right now is because I was looking for, initially I was trying to do this non-foil as much as possible with only a few foil cards. It's sort of shifted a little bit at this point. I started adding more foil cards in just because I want it to be cool when you pull one. Um... Wall of Illusion, Truckroid, Tornado Bird, Dark Jeroid, Double Shark, uh, Mecha Phantom Beast Black Falcon, uh, Manju of the 10,000 Hands, Blast Sphere, Mythical Beast Cerberus, Zombina, uh, Little Wingard, Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness, Another um, candidate for best name, Gigabyte, another candidate for best name, Revival Jam, Snipe Hunter, Gagaga -ga -ga Magician, uh, Mecha Phantom Beast Raiten, Death Koala, Gagaga -ga -ga Gardena. This card uh, also saw some play the other day. It was very useful for my friend Brandon. Maha Velo. This card is insane in here. There's a good number of equipped cards. Card Guard, Shocktopus, which I'm pretty sure in Japanese is actually called Sharktopus, but I don't know why they why they chose to do it this way. Uh, Bazoo, the Soul Eater, Blackwing Zephyros, the Elite, Blade Knight, Breaker, the Magical Warrior. Uh, this card's really good. Uh, Fabled, what is this? Ashen Veil? Yeah. Fabled Ashen Veil. Sergeant Electro. Spear Shark. Machine Lord Ur. Eye Iron. Samurai Skull. Zombie Master. Vendred Revenants. This card's pretty good. It's, um,. You know, it just recurs itself, so it's pretty cool in the in the box, you know. At 1800, it's a pretty good body that brings itself back, so. As long as it's destroyed by battle. So you can do some fun stuff with this when you smack into things. Uh, Herald of Creation. Good for if you're playing a vanilla deck in particular. Uh, Neca Phantom Beast Her Harleyard. I think that's how that's pronounced. Evil Swarm Salamandra, Speed Droid Pachinko Cart, Miscellaneous Saurus, which is crazy in this because 
uh, thing I forgot to mention earlier is this follows the Monster League rules where all monsters are treated as all types in all areas. Kind of makes this cube even possible. It'd be really hard to build without that rule. Not impossible, but it'd be hard. Um, Jin, Presider of Rituals. Go, 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 Golem. Steamroid. Do, 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 bot. Uh, Doge. Uh, Shadow Dragon, Spiral Tough, Doom Caliber Knight. This is this card is just crazy to have in draft. It's really good. Um, we've been doing four-way battles though, which makes this card kind of interesting because it's like who's gonna set off the effect first? Shadow Knight, Archfiend, Tardy Orc, and Go Go Go, go Ram. That does it for our level four effect monsters. All right, now we're looking at level fives. Um, so first off, we got Arm Dragon level five. You'll notice there's a lot of level monsters in here, but none of them have the other. There's only one of each line. So Arm Dragon level five is just really good as a single tribute, regardless of the other level monsters. Uh, level two has a good effect. Level four, uh, or Mystic Swordsman level two and... Silent Swordsman, oh, Silent Swordsman level 2, and whatever. I don't remember its name right now. Anyway, Metal Shooter, uh, Ancient Gear Engineer, uh, Guardian Sphinx, Artifact Chakram, Anteater Eating Ant, which probably is the best name in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Vampire Lord, Cyber Dragon, of course, can't. You can't not have Cyber Dragon. That's just impossible. Uh, Interplanetary, Purpley Thorny Dragon, and Shadow Beast. So on to the level sixes. We've got Ancient Gear Beast, Photon Leo, Cyber Prima. Uh, our last level monster that we'll see is Horus, uh, the Black Flame Dragon level six. Perry Knights, this is a newer card. Crazy powerful. Um, Mobius the Frost Monarch and Rise of the Storm Monarch, and then Dark Triceratops. All right, we're starting to get down to low numbers now. So, level seven monsters in effect with effects include Photon Wyvern, Odd Eyes Dragon, uh, Elemental Hero Blade Edge, and Barrel Dragon. Most of these are, are, like, these three are pretty much classics. Photon Wyvern, I don't think that was ever in the show, but it's a cool card. I like it. And there's only three level eight effect monsters. They are Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction, Guilford the Lightning, and Dark Magician of Chaos. There was one more high-level monster in here. Um, I've cut him. It, it was Trajodia. Um, it might go back in eventually, but I needed something to cut, and it seemed like it wasn't really doing much. Okay, so now we're going to get into the tuner monsters. We're going to start off with our basic vanilla tuners. So we have a level 1 with Flame Guard, Flame Vel Drag, uh, Flame Vel Guard. Uh, level 2 with Galaxy Serpent, a level 3 with Toon Warrior, and a level 4 with Angel Trumpeter. And then the rest of the tuners are Double Resonator, Effect Veiler, which really isn't here to be a tuner, but you can use it as one. Uh, Grappler, Angler, Glow Up Bulb, Turbo Synchron, uh, Barrier Resonator, Herald of the Orange Light, just to fill out the package, um, Plague Spreader Zombie, Red Resonator, Frequency Magician, Christron Rion. Uh, I actually didn't realize that Comrade of uh, Comrade Swordsman of Landstar was a tuner monster, which is weird because this is a Joey card, and Joey doesn't have any synchro monsters. So Unizombie, Dark Resonator, Junk Synchron, Double X Saber 
full Helmite, Hel Helmite, full Helmite, uh, Black Wing Decay, the um, Decay the Ill Wind, Debris Dragon, just a generally really good card, Hyper Synchron, Black Wing Gofu the Vague Shadow. Uh, this card's not really as useful um, as it would be in regular Yu-Gi-Oh right now because there's no links in this box. Um, and Quick Draw Synchron. So, moving on to Rituals. This is where things get a little fun because I, I sort of tried to distill the essence of Yu-Gi-Oh in this box. And Rituals are something that doesn't really work out too well in regular play, uh, with the exception of Necroz. So it's good to have a place where people can actually like play these cards. Um, so obviously my favorite is Relinquished. Uh, I love this card. I couldn't not include it, and I couldn't not include an original starter deck Pegasus copy either. I tried. I was going to include a common from uh, Legendary Duels 2, but I, I had to go with this. So, uh, Kulain the Awakened, uh, Paladin of Photon Dragon, Paladin of White Dragon. Uh, both of these have effects that are related to other monsters, but they also have their own really powerful effects on their own. Um, the only one that you can resolve for the other monster type effect is if you get this and Blue Eyes White Dragon, because they go. this one floats right into it. Uh, performance of Sword, Hungry Burger, Revendred Slayer, uh, Lycanthrope, Odd Eyes, Gravity Dragon, Demise, King of Armageddon, Shino Bird, uh, Shino Baroness Peacock, Crab Turtle, Dark Master Zork, uh, Venu, uh, Bright Bird of Divinity, and Black Luster Soldier, of course. So we can't not have Black Luster Soldier, just like a lot of cards in this. And then our spells. So the way rituals work is right now I have them set up where you have to, where all ritual spells will work with all ritual monsters. So you only have to meet the requirements of the card, though. So theoretically, Black Illusion Ritual is probably the best ritual spell in here because it only requires one to fill the ritual. Um, Emblem of Awakening, Luminous Dragon Ritual, White Dragon Ritual. So these two are also very good because they require level fours. Um, commencement Dance. Hamburger Recipe, Revan Dread Origin, Synthesis Spell, Advanced Ritual Art, End of the World, uh, Shino Bird's Calling, Turtle Oath, Oracle of the Herald. This is the worst ritual spell because it requires level 12. Uh, Primal Cry, and Black Luster Ritual. So I tried to include ritual spells that matched monsters as much as possible. The only places I couldn't were... Uh, Odd Eyes, uh, Gravity Dragon, his associated ritual spell requires Pendulum Monsters, which are not in this box. So I, uh, that's where the advanced ritual art came from. And then the Oracle of the Herald is to go with Dark Master Zork, because I don't have Zork's ritual spell, but I figured including one really, really high cost ritual spell was probably a good idea. Might replace it later on. Alright, so from there we can move on to normal spells. And there's a lot of them. Uh, so we have Double Summon, Cold Wave, Galaxy Queen's Light, uh, Stop Defense, Block Attack is not in here. Um, we sort of removed cards by lottery when I was trying to get it down to the number I needed. And I believe, uh, block attack was cut by that. Um, I would consider putting it back in or cutting stop defense one or the other. I'm not sure. 
uh, timidity, level lifter, uh, just for helping you get to synchros or Xyz monsters, shield and sword, magical star illusion, swords of revealing light, card destruction, change of heart, creature swap. You know, one of the nice things about this box is that you can play banned cards. There is no ban list in a cube, so change of heart can be in here. Uh, double attack, cost down, very powerful card. Brain control, this is one of the cards I replaced with a foil copy recently. Same for soul exchange, ancient rules, this one was foil from the beginning. Worm bait, fusion substitute, uh, dragon's mirror, power bond, metamorphosis, uh, I do want to maybe include some more fusion cards. I think instant fusion probably would be fine in here. Uh, it got cut just because I was trying to trim fat, but I think maybe, uh, I don't know, metamorphosis kind of does the same thing, I guess. Um, we'll see. We'll see how things go. It's the thing. This is probably going to change a lot over time. I'll be cycling cards in and out. Magical mallet. So now we're in draw power. Cup of ace. Pot of Duality, White Elephant's Gift, Pot of Avarice, Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity. Uh, the other day my friend got like all the draw power and it was crazy. He still ended up losing, but... <laughs> Foolish Burial, Gold Sarcophagus, Fossil Dig, Reinforcement of the Army, One for One, Unexpected Die, Summoner's Art, uh, insect Imitation, Reasoning, Magical Stone Excavation, Boogie Trap, Feast of the Wild Level 5. This card is pretty hard to resolve. I might take it out. We'll see. Uh, Monster Reincarnation, Monster Reborn. I need to get a foil copy of this for sure. Soul Charge, Dragon's Gunfire, Smashing Ground, Fisher, Mystic Box, Tribute to the Doomed, Dark Hole, Lightning Vortex, Bait Doll, Galaxy Cyclone, A Wing Beat of a Dragon, um, Stamping Destruction, Night Beam, Giant Trunade, Storm, Heavy Storm, and Dark World Lightning. So now we've got quick, quick play spells. We've got double or nothing, half shut, hand destruction, spell book of wisdom, poison of the old man, my body is a shield, chain summoning, enemy controller, book of moon, scapegoat, uh, gravity la uh, lash. This is also a newer card. It, I've always thought this card was really cool, but you really can't play it in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, the effect is really good, but there's no... It doesn't really help you get anywhere. It's purely defensive. I guess it's kind of offensive too, but it just it it just doesn't work in today's meta. Shrink. Uh, World Legacy Clash. Rush Recklessly. Forbidden Chalice. Forbidden Dress. Forbidden Lance. Limiter Removal, Tornado, Double Cyclone, Twister, Spell Shattering Arrow, Mystical Space Typhoon, Twin Twisters, and Cosmic Cyclone. Alright, Continuous Spells. This is stacks a little smaller. Um, Convulsion of Nature. Uh, this card's not even really good, but it's one of those fun gimmicks that you can kind of include in here. Samsara. Ritual Support, Dust Barrier, Dark Room of Nightmare, Verdant Sanctuary, which is crazy with the rule set of this uh, box, Future Fusion, uh, this should be the last Fusion support card we see, Dimensional Fusion, or Fisher, Different Dimension Gate, Banner of Courage, Yellow Luster Shield, Toll, uh, Swords of Concealing Light, Supply Squad, 
backup squad dragonoid generator. Uh, Jam breeding machine was in here before, but dragonoid generator just kind of does the same thing but better. Really can't do anything with jam breeding machine. All right, for equip spells, we have stim pack, lucky iron axe, one shot wand, reptilian rage, malevolent nuzzler, uh, wicked breaking flamberge. Ow, oh, I've never known how to pronounce that. Shooting star bow seal, twin swords of flashing light trice uh, molten molting escape junk barrier or barrage fairy meteor crush uh, air cracking storm ekabio dark whatever premature burial and different dimension reincarnation all right there's only five field spells Chorus of Sanctuary, Defense Zone, uh, Dragon Ravine, Fusion Recycling Plant, and Mausoleum of the Emperor. We have a hefty stack of uh, normal trap cards here. So we got Reverse Trap, Light Force Sword, Mind Hacksaws. Windstorm of Ataqua, Shadow of Eyes, Transmission Gear, Attack and Receive, Ceasefire, Snake Fang, Cross Counter, Three Strikes Barrier, Battle Guard Howling, Reckless Greed, Jar of Avarice, Secret Blast, Just Desserts, uh, Secret Barrel, Shield Spear, Rising Energy, Half Unbreak, Curse of Aging, Wabaku, Castle Walls, Reinforcements, Covering Fire, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, Skill Successor, Butterfly Yoke, Wall of Disruption, Prideful Roar, Half or Nothing, Magical Arm Shield, Dimensional Prison, Magical Hats, Dust Tornado, Fish Depth Charge, Oops, this is one of the cards that can trigger um, Baby Sarasaurus. Uh, there are other ways, but Oops is like... That's the main reason Oops is still in the box, is because of Baby Sarasaurus. So if I cut one, I'd probably cut the other. Trap Hole, Acid Trap Hole, Deep Dark Trap Hole, Bottomless Trap Hole, Ring of Destruction, Blast Held by Tribute, Compulsory Evacuation Device, Proof of Powerlessness, Blind Obliteration, Torrential Tribute, Quaking Mirror Force, Drowning Mirror Force, Storming Mirror Force, and Mirror Force in very nice foil. Yeah. Fake Trap, Breakthrough Skill, Lost Wind, Spider Egg, Cloning, The Golden Apple, The Phantom Knights of uh, Shadow Veil, The Phantom Knights of Lost... Vambrace? Yeah, I think that's what that says. Paleozoic Hallucigenia. Paleozoic Canadia. Uh, Paleozoic Dynamiscus. Battle Instinct. Oop. Damage Gate. A Hero Emerges. Magician's Circle. Hunting Instinct. Uh, premature Return. Uh, return from the Different Dimension. Time Machine, Back to the Front, Rocket Hand, Corrosive Scales, very new card, Kunai with Chain, this has to be in here, same with Metal Morph. Q 
Counter Traps, Drastic Drop Off, Ririoku Field, Magic Jammer, Trap Jammer, Magic Drain, uh, Divine Wrath, Recall, Dark Bribe, Ultimate Providence, Counter Counter. Uh, this is actually the original printing that doesn't have the Counter Trap symbol. Uh, erratas are relevant in this box, except for in the case of this card. It's not even really an errata, it's just it's that's how the card's supposed to work. So, Negate Attack, Champion's Vigilance, Grand Horn of Heaven, Solemn Warning, and Solemn Judgment. These are continuous traps, so Coffin Cellar, Shattered Axe, Chain Ignition, Battle Guard Rage, Dimension Gate, Robin Goblin, and Robin Zombie. These cards actually are surprisingly good. Um, they can take away some very powerful cards from your opponent. Less good are Hard Selling Zombie and Hard Selling, or sorry, Hard Selling Goblin and Hard Selling Zombie. Uh, these two I'm more likely to cut from the box. The other two I actually really like having in here, though. Uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Tower of Babel, Vanity's Emptiness, Mirror Wall, Fiendish Chain, Spellbinding Circle, Embodiment of Apophis, Machine King 3000 BC, I love this card, Quantum Cat, Swamp Mirror, and Call of the Haunted. This is one I definitely need to get a foil copy of. Um, yeah. When I make packs, I will take this stack, which is mostly extra deck monsters, um, and I will place them all out, and then I'll start placing packs on top of them so that they face in a way uh, where you like can't see. So I do packs of 10 and then one special card. So they come out to 11, uh, 11 cards total. So these are the cards. So there's 48 cards here in my hand and 480 main deck cards in the box. That allows me to make 48 packs and I do six packs per player. Or... Is that right? Yeah. So that allows you to do up to eight players or two, uh, two drafts for four players, which so far we've been doing four-way duels. Um, it's just been my small group of friends so far, so let's get into it. So the three important ones are the Egyptian gods. Um, these are very new additions. I need to get another obelisk because I don't really like this artwork. And I'd rather have it match these two. Uh, so yeah, these three... <laughs> we drafted them in the last one, last game we did, and it was super fun trying to figure out who had them. Uh, it was fun watching people's reactions when they started opening these, because I didn't tell anyone I'd put these in, because they weren't in previously. Anyway, got Thousand Eyes Restrict. I'll probably upgrade this one to foil. Ojama Knight. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which is the highest, to the absolute highest attack value in the box. Fluffle, frightful, fright fur wolf, uh, bee skull dragon, uh, elder entity Norden, Saint Joan, Millennium Eyes Restrict, uh, Amazonus Pet Liger, Flame Swordsman, Crimson Sunbird, Cyber End Dragon. Ancient Gear Howitzer, Panzer Dragon, and Elemental Hero Mudball Man. So these are all the fusion cards in the box. And the way fusion works right now for my box is you can either use the requirements listed on the card or you can fuse using the same number of materials that have the same printed type as the fusion monster you're trying to make. So there's a lot of machine monsters, so they have the highest uh, at three possible targets. Um, Dragon and Spellcaster come very close. Beast is also at two. Uh, anyway, similarly, 
uh, Xyz and Synchro Monsters, uh, you have to use the same number of materials, but the uh, any time that a specific type of material is listed, it is treated as generic. So if something requires dark material, a dark tuner, it no longer requires a dark tuner, it just requires one regular tuner. So we have Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. This card, I actually, someone actually made it the other day, so I wasn't sure how plausible it was to put in, but it clearly it can be made. So Sun Dragon in it, Samurai Destroyer, Black Wing, uh, Armed Wing, weird name, Stardust Dragon, Formula Synchron. Someone actually made this. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Ancient Fairy Dragon, Red Wyvern. Wind Witch, Winter Bell, Black Rose Dragon, uh, Supreme King Dragon, Clear Wing. So this is where it definitely matters because this normally would require a dark pendulum monster. But since uh, all monsters, all requirements are treated as generic, you can just make this normally. And so this one's sort of like Dark Hole. This one's sort of like Regeki. It's very powerful. Um... Red Dragon Archfiend, uh, Avenging Knight Parshath, Junk Warrior, and Moon Dragon uh, Quilla. Yeah, that does it for the Synchro Monsters. Uh, so there should be, I believe, 15 of each, and then the three Egyptian gods. That makes 48. So for Xyz Monsters, we have number 32, Shark Drake, number 39, Utopia. Gem Knight Pearl, number 17, Leviathan Dragon, Supreme King Dragon, Dark um, Rebellion, number 45, Crumble Logos, the Prophet of Demolition, Gaga Ga Cowboy, Shark Caesar, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, Shark Fortress, number 103, Ragna Zero, Come to think of it, this might be worth taking out. Um, originally, when I was putting these together, I sort of was expecting to play more field spells because I didn't think we were going to do the all monsters are all types, but it kind of ended up requiring it. Uh, number 42, Galaxy Tomahawk. Uh, Submersible Carrier Arrow Shark, Grenosaurus, and our rank 1, Lyralisk Assembled Nightingale. So this used to be Slacker Magician, but that ended up just being so hard to deal with. Um, I asked people at the end of each draft that we've run so far uh, to pick a card to take out of the box, and yeah, Slacker Magician was actually chosen by the person who used Slacker Magician. So that pretty much does it for the entire box. Um, we have polymerizations. They are not in the box, but you can, um, on your last pack, you basically elect to take the top card off and place a uh, poly on top of it, then look at your pack. So you basically have to give up a card in order to gain access to the poly, which can be also used to just put dead polys into circulation, but uh, everyone has an opportunity to get extra deck monsters, so it's not always going to be as dead. And then I have a stack of uh, token cards. Some of them are custom, some of them not so much. And these just sit in the middle of the play field as a stack, so anyone can grab them as they need tokens. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole cube. I do plan on getting a nicer box to store it in. I have one picked out from Dex Protection that holds about 550 cards. Should be perfect for this. Um, I have a bunch of plastic pouches to store the cards as booster packs, which is probably what I'm going to do pretty soon. Um, I haven't shuffled this yet, obviously. Everything's still in order. Oh, shoot, this stuff's falling over. So yeah. Uh, that's my cube.
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there will be a link to the list of cards at the description down below. So if you're curious what all is in my cube, um, you can look there. There will be a Google Sheet. Uh, it's liable to change, so if you're watching this sometime down the line, maybe check it out and you'll see that there's some differences. I have a few ideas for stuff I want to rotate in eventually, after this starts, when this starts growing stale. Uh, I want to introduce some attribute-based stuff, particularly um, the ones that boost by 500, the ones that search for a 1500 monster and summon it, uh, and then the other ones are... I want to include all of the, what are they called? Oh, uh, the True Kings. The True King cards would go in here, and they would be a new set of powerful boss monsters. So uh, be sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, nor that. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, if you've got your own Yu-Gi-Oh cube out there, let me know. Not many people do. This is very uncommon. Most cubes are Magic the Gathering. But I love Yu-Gi-Oh, and I love the idea of the cube. And we've had so much fun drafting out of this. Like, every single pack, there's like three or four cards that you want on your first pick, and it just drives everyone crazy. It's awesome. I've gotten compliments already from some of the people who've played uh, so yeah, if you're interested in making a cube, I highly recommend it. Uh, I went through a very long process to get to this number of cards. We had over a thousand cards to start with. And it was just a slow process of whittling it away. So, um, alright, thank you so much for watching and see you later.